Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. It's Megan and today we are doing my March TBR. So, as you guys saw, last month was kind of a terrible, terrible time. I did not finish even like a quarter of my TBR, I'm pretty sure, because I made it way too big. I made it completely unaccomplishable. So, I'm really toning it down this month and what I have is still a lot, but it's so much better than last month and I think an actually realistic goal for this month. This is actually my second time filming this. I did a TBR earlier and after reevaluating here on March 1st, I realized that I need to make more priority spending time with my family and doing other things than reading but I still want to have goals to achieve, so I'm going to make a much smaller TBR. And if I read more than I have, then great. But if not, at least I accomplished what I set out to do, which is what makes it fun to do TBRs for me in the first place. So that was basically a really long-winded way to say that my TBR is being refilmed and is shorter now. So as I said, I did really focus on doing series last month. And because I made it progress in some series, I want to continue that forward momentum. And I want to finish the Akotar series by reading A Court of Wings and Ruin and A Court of Frost and Starlight. And these are the third and companion 3.5 novel to the A Court of Thorns and Roses series. And if you don't know what it is, I'm sure you all do, but it's essentially a Beauty and the Beast retelling set in the land of fairy in which a human girl is taken to the land of fairy and yeah that's really all I have to say about it but it was really good I read A Court of Thorns and Roses and A Court of Mist and Fury in February so I want to read these two in March. Next in preparation for the Shadow and Bone series coming out on Netflix I do want to finish my Grishaverse kind of reading. I've read every other book except these two and that is Ruin and Rising which is the third book in the Shadow and Bone series and then also The Language of Thorns which is the fairy tales of the Grishaverse. So this is kind of a companion side story, not even a side story but it's like fairy tales told in the language of this world but I do want to finish both of these. This is also on my 20 books I want to read in 2020 list so definitely on the TBR. The final series that I would like to complete this month is the Wicked King series, Wicked King, the Cruel Prince series or the Folk of the Air series I guess what it's called. It is in the Cruel Prince world and this is the third book in that trilogy. I read The Cruel Prince and The Wicked King last month, so I do want to pick up The Queen of Nothing. If you aren't aware, The Cruel Prince tells the story of Jude and her two sisters who are abducted and taken into the land of fairy and trying to deal with the cruel fairies and the cruel prince. Um, so yeah, pretty self-explanatory. I didn't like The Cruel Prince as much as I liked The Wicked King. The Wicked King was incredible, so much better than the first book, and I'm excited to pick up the third book. The next book I would like to read is Girls of Paper and Fire, and this is actually the Half-Blood Book Club live show pick for March. I'm not too aware of the synopsis for this, but from what I've heard, it tells the story of the king, who always picks eight girls. However, this girl from the lowest class of paper, she somehow catches the king's eye, and so he hires a ninth girl. I... That's really all I know. I heard that there's triggers for sexual assault, sexual abuse, violence, and that there is a female-female romance, which is what intrigued me to it in the first place. But I guess we'll find out what happens. And the last book slash books, um, I'm actually planning to do a buddy read with my friend Megan, um, who is like my friend in real life. <laughs> well, not that you guys aren't my friends in real life, but like I know her outside of booktube we've been friends outside of booktube um but her and i are gonna read a book together this month and we're still trying to decide which one so i want to mention them both in the tbr and that is either ninth house by lee bardugo or serpent and dove by shelby Mahurin. and ninth house is a adult thriller mystery I'm pretty sure about a necromancy club that recruits a girl that can speak to ghosts 
And then Serpent and Dove tells the story of a witch and a witch hunter who are put in an arranged marriage. Yeah, I'm good either way, really excited either way, so we shall find out which one we pick. So that is the TBR for March. I also have three books that um, I'm kind of bringing over from February, from not finishing in February. I'm hoping to finish these in the first week here of March, but I'm not going to delve into them. You'll see them in my February wrap-up, but those are also kind of on the TBR, but not really. The other seven are the main TBR, and I think seven is so much more manageable than the like 23 I think I had on last month's TBR between the To Be Continued Readathon and all the other ones I had on my TBR. I think this is much more manageable, and honestly, like it's kind of taken the fun out of TBRs and reading for me to have a list that I have to accomplish because I'm a list person and I like to check things off so not being able to accomplish those things really takes the fun out of it for me so I want a manageable TBR that I don't feel like I have to finish things and I can actually do other things in life and spend time with people that I care about on top of reading so yeah, overall, I'm really excited about this month. Let me know what is on your March TBR, and I will look forward to hearing your thoughts on those books. Thank you so much for watching, and I will check in with you in my next one. Bye, friends.